Hey there friends and enemies, Joper here again and the first Ascendant crossplay beta just wrapped up so I'm going to go over some things that I think would improve the game going into full launch or shortly thereafter. Obviously the devs are hard at work making changes after this beta and not everything we recommend is going to be implemented in the full game because obviously there's a lot of feedback coming from a bunch of different people at this point but I just wanted to go over some things that I think would help the game over the long haul whether they're implemented right away or eventually down the line. Some of these things the developers have mentioned are being looked at, but we don't have any firm confirmation that they will be happening. So first off, the end game. Right now, the void intercept battles are essentially the main end game of the first descendant. However, also chasing down characters is gonna be a main part of the gameplay loop, but I do think there needs to be something to strive for, some kind of harder content that is either solo or multiplayer that will allow for people to really test out their builds and go farther with what they've done than just the strict boss battles. Because it, just, it does dilute the builds a little bit and it really makes some characters not feel as good if they are not a boss centric character. So some of the characters that really focus on ad clear don't get a chance to shine as much in the void inter intercept battles. So the things that I would personally want to see among them are dungeons. You could have them so they can be match made or solo. Same thing with the raids, match made or maybe even solo opportunities for those who really want to challenge themselves. I know in other looter shooters like Destiny 2, people do solo challenges and raids fairly often. And it's something the community strives for to really test out characters and builds and all that kind of good stuff. You could do either one of those and I know the developers have mentioned putting raids and dungeons into the game eventually I would just like to see it sooner rather than later but something that might be a bit easier to implement and sooner rather than later is a horde mode this is where you can have escalating rewards based on how far you can go you can have maybe a leaderboard or some kind of emblem or something to show off how far you've gone in that horde mode and just have a way to challenge your build and your character as much as possible. I think this is something that a lot of looter shooter fans are looking for that challenge. They want their builds to be tested. They want their characters to be tested. They want to show off how good they are at the game. There's a lot of ways to do that, but a horde mode with a leaderboard or some kind of ranking system to show how far you've gotten, I think would be incredibly advantageous to this game and really change up the end game as well, allow you to have a build for void intercepts and those giant bosses, but then a separate build for like horde modes and waves of enemies and all that kind of good stuff. Either one of those I think would be good. I think eventually all of them would be nice, especially if this game lasts for multiple years. As we've seen with a game like Warframe, you can add different things over time and really upgrade as time goes by. So uh, the other thing is the mission variety in the main game is just a bit lacking. It feels like you're doing the same, going to one location, doing the same thing, going to the next location, doing the same thing. A way to upgrade that is something that like, I'm not 100% sure on. I do know that the world needs to feel more alive. It feels pretty much dead until you activate the missions. So having random enemies throughout the map, having uh, world bosses randomly spawn, having uh, open world events happening consistently would improve that in my opinion and really make the world feel more alive. Right now it feels like you go to a mission, then the enemy spawn, you defeat them, and then the world is dead, and then you go to the next one. Same thing with uh, the number of characters or players who are in each location. It did feel a little bit dry at times. If you are wanting to do something with multiple players, if you want to proceed with randoms, help them out. It just felt like it took a long time for new players to spawn into each location, which is something that I hope they solve in the future. But yeah, I just think the open world that you're traveling through needs to feel more alive. And also the mission variety is just very repetitive in my personal opinion, especially because you have to do them so many times through the story, right? If you're gonna have a main story that people are invested in, you want it to be more linear. You want to just have a path and they can enjoy the story they get the cutscenes. they don't have to go through all these hoops in order to progress in a story that just feels like it's repetitive and uh, you don't want to complete it because it does feel like it's not enjoyable so next up we're going to do more character interaction so what i mean by that is twofold 
one more interactions with your character like voice lines and such i know that can be fairly expensive so uh, understandable that's not the case but i'd love to see more personality from each individual character but the same thing goes with the interaction between each character so i've mentioned this in a past video that i would personally like to see some interactions like say uh water abilities interacting with lightning abilities but if not that then i want to see more reliance on like a tank working with a healer working with a dps and more thought into what characters you're running because right now it feels like even in a team all three characters are doing their own thing there's no crossover between the characters they're not really helping each other out all four characters in those void intercept battles are just kind of doing their own thing and uh you don't really have to synergize with your characters so more synergy with them in fights would be nice uh we see it in other games where having multiple types of abilities can help out in order to get the job done but right now that's not necessarily the case that may be more so once we get to a full end game because right now everything is match made so we'll see then we've got balance changes for characters and weapons i did feel very much like a lot of the balance was uh all kind of all over the place some characters felt insanely strong some characters felt much better once you got modules and some characters didn't feel all that great same thing with the weapons some weapons felt phenomenal some we weapons i'm looking at you the uh the trace rifles that they have the beam rifles they did not feel good at all in my personal opinion at least the ones that i used so i'd love to see more balance changes with all the weapons and the characters in order to make everything feel viable that's the main key for a game like this because what's going to happen if not is everyone's going to chase those things that are the strongest the characters that are the strongest the descendants they're going to chase the weapons that are the strongest and they're going to ignore everything else and that's going to really hurt the gameplay loop you want everyone chasing as many of these descendants as possible in order to really promote the fact that there's a lot of things to do in the game it feels like there's a chase constantly and that's something that i think the game absolutely needs especially going back to my first point without a really robust end game and the final thing this is the number one on my list the most important thing they need to do yeet jeremy out of this game forever i hate that character he is the worst he is so annoying <laughs> I know he's supposed to be like that, but good lord, do I want to punch that man in the face if at all possible, and yeah, he is the worst character in, it, in pretty much any video game I've played this year, I think, but overall, I just get, get, get rid of him, remove him, see you later, bye Jeremy, hopefully I'll never see you again, but yeah, he's, he's the one that I definitely found that uh, was one of the more annoying characters in the game for sure. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have your own suggestions for the game. And we hopefully will hear more in the coming months about the full release of the First Descendant. I'm thinking sometime around April, May of next year is when I would guess. But that's just speculation on my part. I'd love to get a firm date on that as soon as possible so we know what to look forward to. But my name is Jopa. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of the first ascendant content from me. I hope you have a good one and I'll catch you all later.